full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Back to the daily grind. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Nate Diaz and Michael Bisping are somewhere pumping their fist in celebration. It's always good whenever you see USADA removing stuff or light lightening up on the banned substances rather than getting stricter and adding shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now I don't quite understand this but that's because i'm not a fucking you saw the professional i'm not supposed to what the fuck did you expect i'm a youtuber bro but anyway <laughs> anyways i'm here to tell you that alcohol and cbd have been removed from the list that's the part i care about the other shit is a little too technical for me but i'm gonna read it to you anyway but then we'll talk about the alcohol and the cbd this is what mma junkie has provided a list of other expected other expe <laughs> expected MMA Junkie has pro provided a list of other expected changes from the recent update by USADA. A list of prohibited. Okay, I'm not reading this shit. Glossuter toysoids. Get the fuck out of here, bro. The, the important part is alcohol and CBD have been removed off of the list. Um, I'm really in curious of what this alcohol one though. I've never really knew it was on the banned list. I don't quite understand it. We've seen fighters drink beers at press conferences in the past. So what is you can't fight drunk or can you not drink 12 hours before or after? That can't be the case because as you Michael Bisping had a fucking beer. Well, maybe it was a fucking root beer. I don't know. So I, I don't I don't I've never really had a heard about a fighter testing positive or being banned for alcohol in the past so I really don't even know where that came from bro like okay were they saying you couldn't have alcohol if that was the rule you couldn't be drunk before the fight and now you can so whatever the fuck alcohol was banned from on with USADA is removed from the list and alcohol is not good for your body so I mean, I don't understand how they, it was, you know, ever considered a performance enhancing drug, but I don't know, maybe somebody likes to go in there buzz, maybe it helps kill, a, you know, maybe it helps drown out some of the anxiety, maybe it does, if in moderation, you know, a little in moderation, maybe, maybe it enhances your performance, maybe we're gonna see the fucking first drunken kung fu, not kung fu, <laughs> maybe we're gonna see the fucking first drunken uh, I don't even know what the fuck style they're gonna come from. Some fucking crazy ass MMA fighter come through with a drunk style. Maybe they're gonna have to have a few shots. I don't fucking know, bro. Alcohol is off the list. That's all I know. I don't know what the fuck. I do know CBD though. That's pretty dope. We see Nate Diaz uh, hitting that fucking CBD pin after his fight with Conor McGregor. You know, he looked like he needed that shit at that point. That shit. You know, helps with what was inflammation and shit like that. I ain't never really had one of them CBD pins or no shit like that. But I fucking need one. <laughs> with that being said, man, it is what it is. Not really too much on this video. Let me know what, what if you guys know the specifics about why alcohol was on the list in the beginning or or the clarifications. Because if um it was already on the list, what was it, 12 hours before, 12 hours after? If, if that's the case, I mean, what happens if a fighter drinks a beer at the post-fight press conference? Or, I don't know. And also, let me know if you've ever heard about any fighters, like, getting pulled off of their fight for alcohol. Like, not Jesse Taylor, where they went crazy and got pulled out of their fight. I'm talking about fucking, like, sub-banned substance USADA violation for alcohol type shit. Because I've never heard of that. This is new to me, but this did make headlines. Fucking alcohol and CBD are off the list. CBD is definitely more important here. Fucking, that's that's a huge win. That's dope as fuck. But alcohol was just really interesting to me. So with that being said, it is what it is. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. The dudes hating on the full-time family are the type of dudes that pretend to be asleep when the girl's trying to fuck. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.